Hi, I'm Lane with Alt Smoke, here today with the RDNA by Vapor Shark. The Vapor Shark RDNA is made out of a zinc aluminum alloy. Here on the side, you're going to notice the laser engraved logo. On the opposite side, you're going to notice the tactile buttons are made specifically for this device. The wattage up and the wattage down buttons, and then also the third button is your firing button. It'll light up blue when you press it. You can also click the button five times to lock the device. Here on the side is the USB charging port, so you don't have to change the battery every time. You can just charge the device itself. And it is a pass-through charger, so you can charge it and use it at the same time. Here on the top is a spring-loaded gold-plated contact, so you would never have to adjust the contact to your atomizer. It'll just do it automatically. And here on the bottom is the interface for the Evolve DNA30 chip. And here on the side, you can change out the battery. So if there is ever an issue with the battery, you can just unscrew this screw, take this faceplate off, and change out the battery. Overall, this device is a very easy to use at all day vape, and it's extremely reliable as well. You don't have to worry about using a resistance on your atomizer that might not be safe because the chip is going to cut off anything below a 0 0.5 ohm resistance. So you never have to worry about a battery venting. You really don't have to worry about cleaning this mod out too much. It's a very easy to use and safe to use mod. And being that it's a charger as well, you don't have to get anything extra other than an atomizer. So I'm going to be showing you practically how the Vapor Shark contact and the interface work. The contact is again spring loaded, so you never have to actually adjust one of your contacts to any one of your atomizers. It's going to adjust automatically. And here on the bottom interface, you're going to notice once you press one of the buttons, the screen will light up. You can adjust up on the wattage or down on the wattage. And you're also going to notice two other options there on the interface. One of those options is an ohm reader. The ohm reader will tell you whatever your resistance is on your atomizer. So right now mine is at a 0.8. When you hold down the firing button, you're going to notice the other one telling you what the voltage is set at. So again, here on the Vapor Shark, you do have a mini USB pass-through charger. So you can charge and use it at the same time. But for some instance, you can't find your way to a charger, you can change out the battery. It's very easy to do. You just need a small Phillips head screwdriver. You're just going to unscrew this screw here. The faceplate will come right off. And you'll notice the pre-installed Sony VTC4 battery. It's very easy to just pop right out switch out and you're ready to go again. The faceplate's easy to put back on. I'm just going to slide it back into place and screw that back down. That was the RDNA by Vapor Shark. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe.